Welcome back. And in this lesson, we're going to add a bunch of cool details in a very flexible design style. That way, we don't destroy any of our geometry and keep ourselves a super flexible and nimble 3D print designer. So let's go ahead and add some headlights. So let's go to the front view and turn, get our 3D cursor kind of right here on our, uh, where a headlight would be. And I'm going to do shift right click and we'll do shift A because we want a cube to appear right there. So we'll do cube and it's way too big. Uh, so let's do like five maybe. Yeah, that looks good. So five should be just dandy. And what we're gonna do is cut this out of our, our car body here. So let's rename this and call it headlight. And for the car interior, we can actually um, parent that inside of our car. So just shift, click and drag and drop that to set parent. So now everything's, you know, we're just kind of keep stacking everything inside of the car layer here. So for our headlight, we're going to make sure you have your headlight cube selected and then shift click on the car body and do control minus on the numpad and cut out a uh, headlight there. And we wanna keep our um, 45 degree rule. So if our car was turned on its side, um, you know, we'd have to do some bridging for this little piece right here. So what I'm gonna do is just go into edit mode on the headlamp or the headlight and let's grab this face right here and just hit S and X. We're gonna scale it on the X. Just kind of curve it out a little bit like that. And let's hit A to grab all of it and do G and X to grab it and slide it down the X axis. Just kind of do like that. There we go. Now, when it's printing on its side, we should have no print problem printing this, this kind of slanted edge right here. And we could go through and add, you know, different lamps on each corner of the car uh, or headlights on each corner, but let's just let Blender do the work for us. So we're gonna use a modifier on the headlight to add modifier. And then we're gonna do mirror. And we're gonna, uh, you can kind of see it's, it's doubled right here, uh, but that's because we haven't told the modifier what to mirror on. So we're gonna mirror from the car. And there we go, that's on the X. And if we want it to appear on the back side there, we're just gonna click the Y box. And there we go, we've got super simple lights. And that way, if we ever wanted to go into edit mode and say if we wanted to, you know, change anything, like, you know, if we wanted to hit G and Y and move that back, you know, all that is gonna help us be super flexible. That's actually pretty cool, let's do that. I like that. And I'm gonna select, hit A to select all, and it's a little too close uh, for my liking right here. So I'm just gonna hit G and X and slide that in just a little bit, just to give us some, some room right there. And then we'll just check the back, make sure everything looks good on the back side. Yeah, all right. So headlights are done. Let's go ahead and parent that to the car. And another way we could do that is just, you know, make sure you have your headlights selected, shift click on the car and do control P. That's another way to parent and it'll do the same thing. And while we're at it, let's just go ahead and add some kind of like lights to our car here. So to do that, let's go find our headlight. So just click on your headlight. We're gonna add a material and we're gonna do new. And so what we wanna do is change it from on the place right here where it says surface, instead of principal BSDF, we're gonna click on that and change it to an emission shader and maybe crank up the strength to three. And notice nothing's really happening. And that's because uh, we have it booleaned into the car. So we need to go to our car layer, hit the plus, and notice nothing's happening. That's because we've booleaned it to the car. So real quick, let's name that, uh, let's call it uh, light and hit enter. That way we can find it. Go to our car layer and then add a new material layer. And instead of hitting new, we're gonna click this little beach ball with the drop down right here and find our light. 
And there we go. Now our car has some headlights and some taillights, uh, but it can look way cooler than this. So let's go to our, our render engine properties. It's the second tab right here. It looks like a little camera, like the back of a DSLR. And make sure you have render engine Eevee. And we can add ambient occlusion and bloom. And there we go. Now we've got some nice kind of glowing headlights for our car there. And that's really just for fun. Um, it's not going to show up when we 3D print. But if you wanted to take photos of your car, uh, you know, that'll make it look a lot cooler with some glowing lights. And we could even also add some screen space uh, reflections. And now let's add a grill to our car. So we'll just do... Um, something kind of right here in the center. So let's send our 3D cursor back to the center with Shift S and say cursor to world origin. And then we'll do Shift A to add another cube. And five millimeters is pretty good. Uh, we can go and hit G and Y to bring our cube up to the front and G and Z to bring it on down right below the headlights is there. And then let's tab into edit mode and let's just scale on the X axis and give us like a nice cool grill here. I'm going to hit one to go to the front view. And that way, you know, in orthographic, you can really tell, you know, if things are lining up. So let's go a little bit further with uh, S for scale on the X axis and just kind of maybe a little bit less than our headlights right there. Yeah, that's looking pretty cool. And let's go to our side view. And notice right here, we're kind of hitting into our, our car. So that's not very good. Uh, we could always you know, go back into edit mode, grab our wheels and hit G and Y, kind of back them off a little bit. So that's what I'm talking about when we're being, I want y'all to be flexible designers. You know, if we had applied those booleans, we would have been kind of stuck there and we may have to take a few minutes or hours to uh, fix all that. But with this workflow, you can just keep on moving. <laughs> so let's go ahead and make sure we've got our uh, grill selected. We can rename it. So just type grill. There we go. I'm just going to twiddle the car up so we can see a little better. And we can close up our studio. We don't really need to see inside of that. And so shift click on your grill and then shift click on the car and do control minus. And there we go. We've got a nice little grill here. Uh, I think it could look cooler though. So let's go into edit mode on just the grill. Uh, go into x-ray mode and let's grab the back side, the, you know, the inside part there and let's hit S and X. And we're just going to scale that on the X axis and then maybe scale it on the, X, the Z. So we'll do scale and Z and kind of make a cool funky grill there. That's looking pretty cool. And we can even add some color to that too. So make sure you've got your grill, go to your material and just make it, you can do the same color. You could do a new one. I'm just going to use the tire color and we can't see it there. So we need to go to car, add a new layer and then find our tire color. Bloop. And there we go. Now we've got a nice cool uh, grill there. And now let's add a bumper. So same thing, um, we could even click on our object here. You see how there's a little origin right there, this little orange dot, it's right in the center. We can do shift S and say cursor to selected, and that will put it right kind of pretty close to where we're gonna need a bumper to be. So we'll just do shift A, do a mesh, and add another cube. And that's a pretty good size. We could even do like maybe three just a little bit smaller than our grill, and then do G and Z, bring it on down. We'll go to front view with the one on the numpad. You know, just kind of look at the front there. And I just remembered something. Uh, we need this to be uh, exactly 30, so we could delete it and start over, or we could just type in our dimensions right here for the X. We want it to be the exact same width as our car and our um, tires here. So remember at the very beginning, we made our car uh, was a cube of 30. So let's just type in 
30. And now our scale is all, all out of whack right here. We got 10, one, one. So let's just reset our scale with control A to apply scale. And there we go, now we reset it. So we can hit G and Y and bring that out a little bit. That looks pretty good. We'll go to the side view and kind of take a look. That's pretty good. And let's mirror that uh, to the back side too. So we're just gonna add a mirror modifier on our, um, our bumper. So actually let's rename it just to be keep everything clean. So and click on the cube and call it, you can call it bumpers. We're gonna make a, another one with the mirror. So just make sure you have your bumper selected. Do add modifier and mirror. And we're not gonna do the X axis. We're going to do the Y because we want it to go to the back. And our mirror object is the car. And there we go. Now we've got a nice bumper on the back. So we've already got it selected. Now just shift click on the car and do control plus. And it's changed the same color so we know it worked. And let's go ahead and uh, parent all these together. I'm just gonna grab the grill and shift and drop it on the car and then take the bumper, shift and drop it on to the car. So now everything will stay linked together. And I'm gonna twiddle up some of these, these booleans. So that's all the booleans we've got on the car. All right, so next what we're gonna do is add some kind of like door um, gaps right here. So let's select our car, hit tab to go into edit mode, and we're gonna select this face here and the other side right there. And let's just hit I on the keyboard to inset it just a little bit. There we go. So we're just kind of making a nice little uh, rim here. It's kind of hard to see, so I'll turn the x-rays off. Just like a little frame almost around the edges here. And then we're going to select these tiny little slivers on both sides. And let's hit the extrude individual. So make sure you have this third one, extrude individual, and just click and drag that in. And notice it's pushing in, and we're just going to do it just a little bit, just like negative one, right there. And that looks pretty good. So we'll tab back into object mode. And if we turn our overlays off, you can see we've got this little inset here. And that's just to kind of add like, almost like if it was like a, a door, you know, the, the hinge that would open right here. And this is where it would open. And the cool thing is that it's actually, you know, eating into our wheel well, which is really nice. And let's add some door handles. So we'll go to side view and I'm gonna do shift right click. Oh, can't see our 3D cursor. So let's turn our overlays back on and you know, shift right click anywhere we want to put the door handle. I'm gonna do somewhere in there maybe. And we'll do shift A to add a cube. And that's pretty good size, three millimeters. And we'll go into edit mode. Hit W to get our selection. Make sure we have everything. So just hit A to make sure everything's selected. And we're gonna scale on the Z axis and just make a little, little door handle size thing. And that's looking pretty good. Um, so, but let's add a bevel modifier. So let's just do bevel and do segments maybe three and just increase the offset pretty far. I'm just gonna kind of curve it out there. That looks pretty good. And we'll just take our uh, cube here. Let's rename it uh, door handle and shift click on our car and do control minus. And there we go. We've got a nice little uh, door handle and you can adjust that any way you'd like it to be. I'm happy with that. And now let's add a mirror modifier. So we'll do, make sure you still have your door handle selected and we'll do add modifier mirror. We're gonna do it on the X axis and then do the car. So if we look on the other side, there it is. So now we've got nice little door handles. And the reason that I went inside the car instead of outside the car is that we want this uh, side right here to be completely flat because we're gonna turn it sideways and print this car on its side. Um, so I don't want a door handle sticking out um, 
and that would kind of defeat the purpose of being able to uh, print this whole side right here really flat. So that's why I did that, just so if you're wondering, let's go ahead and parent that to the car. So we'll just click and drag over the car, hold shift and drop it on in there. And just a few more things. I think we can add some flair to our, our tires here. So let's click on our tires, go into edit mode and make sure you have your face select and just grab this um, outer face there. And we'll grab this one on the other side too and hit I to inset and just make your tires as thick or thin as you want them to be. I'm gonna do something maybe right in there and then I'm going to extrude. And notice when I hit extrude, it's going up and down and that's not what we want. So I'm gonna hit escape. And uh, sometimes uh, when you hit extrude, it like creates another face right on top of the other face. So sometimes I'll do a check and just hit G and grab. So yeah, so um, you know that's definitely what happened. So just hit escape and then just hit control Z and then hit G. So you want it to be, you know, make sure there's not double faces going on. And we're going to extrude individuals. And that will let both of these um, kind of push in at the exact same time like that. And we don't want to go too far where we go through the, the wheel well we made. So just right in there, we can even go to our bottom view with control seven go into see-through mode and just kind of take a look there. Maybe hit S and X and scale it. Maybe just line it up right where the wheels kind of uh, start to kind of end right there. So right in here. And then we're going to scale those, um, those extrudes just a little bit more. So let's go to individual origins up here at the top and hit S and scale those individually. So we don't want to go too far, but um, just kind of make it a nice 45 degree angle there, somewhere in that ballpark. And now if we look to the side, we've got some way cooler looking wheels. I'll turn our x-rays off. And yeah, now, we've, now we're talking. So that's looking pretty good. And let's do maybe one more thing and just add a license plate and you can add your name, you can add your website, your, um, you know, anything you want. So let's do, or your actual license plate, it's totally up to you. So let's go to the back view. So if we hit one, it goes to the front. But if we hold control and hit one, it goes to the back. So that's how you would do that. And let's go to our selection mode. Make sure we're in object mode because we want to add a new object. And we will just shift right click right there and I got it pretty close, actually, yeah. And we can even go check, you know, to make sure this uh, 3D cursor is right in the center under our view tab. And there's a 3D cursor right here. And you can tell the X is almost at zero, but I was a little off, so we can just type in zero right there. And now it's completely centered. And we'll do Shift A, do a mesh and a cube, and maybe do like five. That looks pretty good. And do G and Z, and just bring it right above our bumper there. It's kind of hard to see, but just right above the bumper. And we'll call this license plate or just plate. Go into edit mode and let's scale on the X axis. Make it more of like a rectangle. And um, since this is a pretty small car, you know, it's pretty tiny, it's only 30 millimeters. Um, we're gonna make the license plate pretty big. So let's just keep scaling it. Go to control three, or sorry, control one, and just make sure we're not overlapping on our bumper right here. So we'll hit G and Z, and just come up right there. Look from the side. There we go. Yeah, we've got just enough room right here. So now we'll go back to object mode. We've got our plate selected and then just shift click on the car and do control minus. And there we go. We've got a nice little license plate spot. We can even add some color to it. We could uh, make sure we have our plate selected. We can just add maybe the tire color. And then since we already have that layer on our car, it appears. And now we're gonna take what we learned in our 
early lesson of working with text and see if y'all still remember. And we're gonna add some text to this license plate here. So I'll do Control-1, do Shift, right click, and it doesn't have to be perfect. So just Shift, right click somewhere in there. And then we're going to do Shift-A and add some text. And notice the text is kind of standing up. So let's do rotation 90 degrees on the X and then 180 on the Z. And that'll just flip it all on around so we can see. So let's go back to our, our rear view with control one. Make sure you still have your text selected and then hit tab so we can edit it and then just backspace and write what you want. I'm just gonna do my website, PTT dot live and then hit tab to go back into object mode and just rename it ptt dot live add a solidifier modifier and just crank it up maybe to one and notice well we may have to pull it out right here so we'll just hit g and y Bring it on out. And we're getting some weird artifacting going on on the T's. So just make sure you have high quality normals selected and even thickness, and that should fix it. And it's looking pretty small. So I'm just gonna scale it up with S. Maybe do control one to look at our the rear of our car and then just hit G to move it around. Or maybe even scale it up a little bit more, G. That's pretty good. And make sure our scale isn't all out of whack. So we're at 2.7. So just do control A and reset the scale back to one. That looks good. And now let's Boolean subtract this from our license plate. So make sure you've got your text and we'll do shift click on the car and do control minus. And again, nothing happened. And that's because the text is not a mesh. So if anyone remembers, how do we co convert this to a mesh? Uh, all right, yes, you just right click and say, oh, and it wouldn't let me because I have both selected. So just make sure you have just the text. Say right click, convert to mesh. And there we go. Now we should be able to uh, Boolean these together. So make sure you have your text, shift click on the car, and then control minus. And I like to do control minus when I'm doing text sometimes. Uh, that way it has nice shadows um, whenever, you know, once, once it's kind of cut in there, it looks really cool once it's 3D printed. So let's just, uh, parent the text to the plate. That way, if we uh, move our license plate around, you know, that'll all stay together with it. And then we'll parent, and then we'll parent the plate to the car. And just go ahead and save. We've done a lot of work. If you made it this far, really good job. We are done with our car. We're going to now go to the next video where we're going to prep this for 3D printing, check our mesh integrity to see if we have any overhangs, and prep it for slicing. Let's go ahead and jump into the next lesson.